so in this video tutorial i am going to cover the x path by group index so i had already covered for a uh, absolute x path relative x path x path by attribute x path by text functions and uh, contains functions and uh, those things i had already covered so so when we are going for the x path by group index means whenever we inspect the element if the count is greater than the one then we go for x path using group index so what is the syntax of uh, x path by group index is this is the syntax so x path expression and then index position so here x path expression will be evaluated first so then it will be first evaluate first based on like if you are using a uh, x path by attribute or x path by text function or your x path by contains so first it will be evaluate first then the result will be stored in a x path array okay the then the based on the index position the element the element will be highlighted so you have to give the x path expression here and then you have to give the index of the position like whether it is a position of a first or position of second or third based on that it will be going to count for example i added i have just uh, given for here for understanding purpose so x path uh, expression i had given over here so i am um, then index position i just given one so uh, this is the example of x path by group index so let me go to the uh, example so this is our html source code i have just written for understanding purpose i have given for the input equal to type equal to text of uh, this the uh, eight elements and d and c and d so okay let me go to the while saving into that that one into the dot html you will get the this uh, all like this and just uh, i am just going to open this one okay go to the uh, google chrome okay this is what i got this one uh, as i said i shown that uh, uh, source code of HTML. Then you have just directly go to the inspect element. Right click on it, inspect the element. So you will uh, find the type equal to text. Press the uh, control F and uh, our tag name is called as import. So here, if there are like uh, two out of uh, four, two of four, okay. Uh, so here we are finding uh, not even one of one. It is showing like two of four. So I am just closing this one. I want to go to the uh, C element. I will just give the position of. Now it is highlighting one of one. Okay, this is our, uh, I mean, group by index is the x path is correct. So let me go to the Eclipse. I just shown how we are going to write this one. So I had already written the. Uh, let me create one class file. Select public static argument. Click on finish. Yeah, I already written the uh, script. I will just uh, take. I am going to taking over this one. Copy this one and just I am adding over here. Uh, I am kindly suggesting you to refer the previous videos. You will understand how I am uh, writing the X. Uh, system dot uh, set property and launching the Chrome browser. So I'm just adding the URL of here. Now I'm writing the driver dot
bind out x part. I'm just adding the x part over here. Okay, I'm just going to copy this x part. I'm just uh, storing one variable. Okay, now I'm just uh, passing some parameters. And uh, send case using okay, then we are going to save this one and uh, run the script. Yeah, the Chrome browser was started successfully. Then the, it is entered the URL and then it has been uh, uh, typed in just the parameter has passed. So this is a uh, x path is correct, group by index. So uh, internally how it is working is, in the above example, the first, this is the example, what will happen is, it will be uh, this parenthesis part will be executed first, then it will be creating the array, okay, then it will store it in the, all the matching elements inside the array, okay, then it will be specify the index, start, it will be going to verify all the index one and then then it will be going to execute it. So uh, same thing I am going to show you. I am going to show you one more example. So here a uh, uh, called as inspect element. Uh, uh, okay just I am going to take. Uh, so the. Uh, Timeline is called as input. Control press and control F. We are given the input. So here I am. Uh, it is showing like one of two. So what I will I will close this one. This is the x path expression. So then I am going to give the position. Uh, see now it is showing like one of one. So uh, like this we have to work on it. Uh, You, you can practice more examples likewise so you will understand yeah I had uh, done this one so like that you have to work on more example. So kindly I am requesting you to subscribe this channel. So if you if you have any questions